I got a question for you, and I'm not going to preach uh, about Papa being preach. healthy or whatever, but uh, as growers, we always focus on making our making sure that our plant has the right nutrition so that it can be healthy. Well, how many of you take like at least a multivitamin every day to make Flintstone sure vitamins that you're count? staying healthy? Yeah, I, I I know we're supposed to get our primary Flintstone nutrition kids. from our diets and everything, but I think that a lot of people's uh, could benefit from just at least taking their multivitamin every day well i know as a senior i need to take my centrum silvers to, yeah i don't have fucking <laughs> osteoporosis and fall in the grow room and break, and your ginkgo biloba. turn to dust or something you know i actually yeah, picked up some biloba. of that um myriad mycology stuff that spartan recommended that vitality blend i was actually I taking the paul stamets stuff for a while i was taking his uh blend and the yeah. lion's sequence mean. it's still the fucking it's late sequence yeah. It was good shit. I uh, I was also taking MCT oil every you. morning and just you know trying to improve my brain because I I have uh, memory issues and I had memory issues before I started smoking weed. It, that's it has nothing to do with smoking weed, and I don't try to blame it on that. Um, I've had head injuries plus I work around uh, hydrogen sulfide gas, and even low parts per million of that can cause short term memory loss. So. Uh, I think that's the chat says they're scorching the old stabby. Scorching the old synopses. I have the opposite problem. I remember too much, too many memories. Memories. Yeah, I'm with you, Blue Kiss. I like my Flintstone uh, yeah. gummies. That's what I was saying, Flintstone kids, man. But uh, <laughs> other than that, I've been I've been experimenting with uh, turmeric and some apple cider vinegar uh, supplements every day, and it's been working for me. I mean, it, it feels pre- it makes me feel pretty good. I think yeah, your boy, Roy Boy, says you got to take that 30 milliliter shot of that uh, GH CalMag in the morning. I agree with you, brother. <laughs> All about CalMag. Going away. Yeah, CalMag. That's how you become a superhero. That's how he deals with any purpling in his stem. Yeah, you don't need to take multivitamins if you're a grower. You just stick your arm in the res and you'll absorb <laughs> the minerals so to your many... skin. I was mixing up nutrients today and I was like, man, I don't have CalMag because I don't use CalMag. But then I was, I got some content ideas that are coming soon. Um, so if anybody has CalMag, uh, hit, hit my DM. I need some. I got some, dude. I got some powdered CalMag. No, no, I need. I, I need, the, need the bottle. I need the notorious bottle. I don't have to thing. buy it. I don't have to buy it. Six minutes to hash time, folks. Six minutes. Dougie Fresh will be on. I do. Um, I do the myriad mycology. Uh, not really supplements, but I more or less do the mushroom powders. Um, a performance blender, I think is what it's called. So it's like Rishi. Cordyceps, Lion's Mane, and then I also do some Agaricon by them. I'm gonna, I gotta get back onto their website and actually restock what were, a lot of that stuff. So expensive, though. Martin. What were you yeah, doing? You were shoveling that stuff onto your food. Was that good? Yeah, that's the same stuff that Painted Ladies got right now. The Vitality Blend is ten mushroom blend. Um, yeah, but uh, it looked like you put a lot of it on there. Oh, dude, I make it all the time. It just, it's just—it's awesome. Tasty? It gives you, yeah, it gives you that mushroom flavor, but you don't have like the actual. Mu- Everybody bitches that. A little earthy. People, is my audio fucked up? You're good. You're back. No. Just put it Usually, nice people the that when I ask people if they like mushrooms, I like the flavor of most mushrooms. Actually, I could I could eat them. I just love them. But when people tell me they don't like mushrooms, if I really ask them, like, is it the flavor or? And it's usually the consistency they don't like. Well, this solves that because you just have the powder. You put it in there, it kind of dissolves into the into the soup and uh, it just tastes you just get the mushroom taste that i can't think of the fancy word umami or whatever umami it's, it's umami yeah it's that's what i am i love it and i just like mix up some compost and eat with my hands if i wanted that mushroom. I mean, you can flavor. do whatever you want <laughs> there there's me right there. i put that on my <laughs> good job i really want to try and mix some of that up with some dark chocolate like they were talking we're like red and uh fumi were talking about last night on uh that's how much you mine. putting in there I do. So it's saying he put a bunch of this in there. And then how much of this did you dump on your floor? I mixed mine None. up with some cocoa powder. I didn't put any on the sometimes floor. Sometimes I put it in some tea. Some matcha tea it off or something. Floor. It's like so cocoa. Like, You're just carrying it around. Yeah, I'll, I'll put mine in a... I'll do like a teaspoon of, of mushroom before. powder. I'll do a half a teaspoon of cocoa. And I'll put it in some... I'll brew the tea first. You know, I'll make tea first. Or I'll drink like a half a cup of tea. And then I'll top it off and remake a cup with mushroom powder. But I usually mix it with cocoa. Because there's a there's a synergy with the cocoa too. The cocoa X is another complement to it. So I um, could mix it with like blueberries and spinach and stuff in a smoothie. 
Yeah, and the like blueberries are going to be great for you because of the antioxidants. antioxidants and, yeah. and it wouldn't and taste like antioxidants. mushrooms and blueberries. It would taste like shit, it, but it's going to anyway. It, the blueberry <laughs> stuff would cut it. It would definitely cut it. You could try something more like a pineapple or something more like citric acid because that'll really cut flavor for you okay that really, like, all right citric so what, acid's a great flavor I'll so, if you don't like the flavor you can get capsules and just fill capsules with it no i love mushrooms i just well, I, stop being I a baby. Just the problem it. is with a with a regular dose you have to take so many i tried that capsule deal i have to take like 16 capsules yeah, exactly. of all these different mushrooms i don't want all that oh no that's why i just cook with it now i just, I want to just that's done, what i do i drink it in a tea Fuck right it. so i just eat it you can so put on a salad, you know, dust it on your salad. Eat anything. When I saw animal. him fork an RSO, I was like, that guy can eat anything. Fork an RSO. <laughs> I try to make sure I'm eating grapefruit, strawberries, stuff like that for like vitamin C purposes, leafy greens, things like that for minerals and stuff like that. And if I'm not eating that kind of stuff, then yeah, you definitely need to eat a vitamin or something, but I don't want to overdo it. So I don't necessarily take multivitamins. I try to include all my vitamins in my daily nutrition. I don't mind if my piss can. is a little expensive. So my thinking on why <laughs> I was sorry, Red. So this is my thinking on why I added the mushroom to my it was a chicken, I guess chicken vegetable soup. And the reason is is for one, the chicken is high in, or it has it contains zinc, which is good for helping to protect you from the coronavirus. The in the mushroom blend, one of them that's in there is a garicon, which is antiviral. I do, um, I do garlic. For my yeah, I, garlic is in my soup, yeah. along with onions and a bunch of Lots vegetables. Lots of garlic from the zinc source. The mirepoix. And, and then um, I also um, have zinc supplements that I can take if, if I don't eat it, you know, for the day. Like I'm not having any chicken or nothing with zinc, I'll, I'll eat a supplement. or uh, And I do take the multivitamins like uh, Stabby was recommended i'd like the gummies the fucking gummy ones because then you can chew the fucking things up yeah the ginger right, too the elder elderberry gummies man are good as shit ginger because all of this stuff can kind of gnar down on your stomach when you're mixing stuff like citrus and like i don't know if you've eaten cheese or dairy or something like that like you can upset your stomach pretty well either it'll curdle all this shit will curdle so red and, uh, would you have been a good contestant on fear factor I don't know about Pure Factor, man. No, I'm not into like eating anything. He and said everything. he could eat anything. I don't know about that, but more or less, like, I don't know, maybe, possibly. Like, like the first but. time we hung out with Red, he was afraid of the food. Not afraid of the food, but he didn't know if we were going to eat the food, so he I brought was, nuts. I was so stressed after. Like, the poor guy didn't eat anything. Yeah. I think so it's I don't know. Yes, I did. Back. I most certainly did eat. I ate what I I ate what I could. There was some usually brought his own nuts there, like, or something that he. Mm -hmm. Well, food. I brought I brought party I brought what I consider party favors. Uh, that were good party favors too, my friend. <laughs> you got <laughs> one minute that show, shows nuts up at the party with a bag of nuts. Hey guys! <laughs> and he left his nutcracker behind the first time. Love my nutcracker. <laughs> it was like a it was a decent. It was a big deal too. too. It, was, it was a nice nut. He he old man had that nutcracker for a good couple of months. Man, I was without it. You tracked it down. I did. Those damn nuts were so dry by the time I got a chance to recrack them suckers open, man. It's that time. Ash time. You're a minute early, school. Celeste is waiting for Ash time. Good <laughs> say you don't have a hammer. Yeah, but I mean, if you. <laughs> or my computers. Oh, there it is. Here's a good segue to back to grow, growing, though, is that if, you, if you're growing organically anyway, your, your plant's going to be pretty mineral dense. And uh, if you're going to grow your, your vegetables that way, then you might not need that multivitamin because you're going to be getting all those minerals. You're actually going to get the minerals in your food that you're supposed to be getting instead of eating the, the water <laughs> that you buy at the store. With nothing yeah, that's, that's hopefully the plan, you know. Oh, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> mm. Just go. Damn button. Push the goddamn button. No, she's here. 